as you can see it's a very bright and beautiful day here in Shimla after yesterday's rains in case you miss yesterday's rains you should go and check out the previous video <laughs> Our plan for today is really no plan at all. That's what we plan to do. We'll just walk around, look at things and talk about things. And this walk right now is also the walk that many people in Shimla would have taken over the past 150 years because we are heading to the mall road. So I think while it's bright, it's also a very hazy day, which is not ideal. So on a clear day in Shimla, you can even see the snow-capped mountains. I almost wish I could like study at this university. And I think this is like a common feel, right? You wish you were staying at one of these houses, working at one of these offices, or studying at one of these universities. Or maybe working at this historical post office just at the mouth of the mall road. It's very close to what's called the Scandal Point, which was a very scandalous location in the summer capital of India. That post office is actually originally it was a colonial time building as is true with a lot of structures that you see in Shimla but it was later converted into what's called the Shimla GPO. There you go those are the old colonial times of Shimla by the mall road and Shimla wasn't just the summer capital where a lot of administration would happen it was also the place where a lot of fun would happen so what that essentially means is a lot of the more privileged people which means of course the British because they were ruling the country but within the British as well the people who were more well off and richer and more powerful would actually come and hang out here in Shimla and they would walk the mall road and have parties and social gatherings here in fact continuing that conversation there's this saying that during the British times while the civil servants would be working at wherever they were posted their wives would sometimes be privileged enough to be here in Shimla and to have a good time within the higher sections of society here Of course, just as today, even then, the good climate and the vast expansive views, the clean air, all of that attracted the Britishers and other people to Shimla as well. And when all of those people in British India converged onto Shimla because of its good weather, because of the fact that a lot of fun activities were happening here because all the well-off people were living here given its clean environment and clean air and beautiful views it also meant that a lot of culture and a lot of such activities really flourished here and this building is an example of that so this is actually called the Getty theater it was modeled on theatre of the same name in London and this was a place where a lot of theatre plays would happen including plays of a lot of famous people of that time. 
and in fact famous people not only of that time even of the more recent times a lot of bollywood actors have actually performed here at the gate I feel the Himachal government is kind of doing a good job maintaining this old colonial capital of India. All right, let's climb up there and see if we get a better view. I was actually expecting to see and show you lots of snow-capped mountains, but I think it's not a clear day hmm so shimla and fire also have had an unfortunate connection so maybe that's a little something we can talk about as well as we just hang out here by the mall located where it is up in the hills and also because of the british influence shimla has had a lot of these old wooden buildings and wood of course catches fire and therefore we've had a lot of fire incidents in shimla recently as well as in the past in fact our hotel the grand hotel was uh, gutted i think two times so was the post office the gpo that we saw and many others so yeah the unfortunate truth about the old wooden buildings of shimla is that they are prone to catching fire and we've actually lost quite a few of buildings to fire like that but of course there's restoration that can be done as was done in the case of the grand hotel and maybe one slight correction so what you see that ways the amateur dramatic club that is the gaty theater and what's behind me is not really the gaty theater uh, it's actually the town hall but they do look very similar so i think i probably misspoke earlier when i called the town hall the gaty theater it was actually the town hall also one additional bit about the geography of the place so where we are at right now this is not really the mall road this is at a higher level as you see so this is called ridge and where we started from just down below that is the mall road christ church it's actually just at the end of what we now know is the ridge and lakkar bazaar is a little lower level So I guess one thing is good to dwell a little bit on and before that the building we are in <laughs> this is the Himachal Pradesh tourism building which is just at the beginning of the ridge and yeah we are just hanging out and <clears throat> excuse me resting inside this building for now So the thing I was saying was that the town hall and the Gaty Theater they were actually within the same building once upon a time it was just the town hall but because of some structural concerns they were separated out And yeah this is pretty much it we've just hanged out this morning by the Gaty Theater the town hall the ridge the mall road and we've just relaxed a little bit i would say and i'll catch you again bye